Ladies and gentlemen, today we gather to celebrate the life and legacy of one of the most versatile and esteemed actors of the 20th century. A man whose career spanned six decades, encompassing stage, screen, and television, and whose performances left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Join me as we explore the remarkable journey of Sir Alec Guinness, from his humble beginnings to his status as a revered icon in the acting world, early life and background, Alec Guinness de Cuff was born on April 2, 1914, in Paddington, London, England. His early life was marked by uncertainty and financial instability. Guinness never knew his father and was raised by his mother, Agnes Cuff. Despite the challenges of his upbringing, he developed a passion for literature and the arts at a young age. This passion would eventually lead him to pursue a career in acting, entry into acting, Guinness's journey into the world of acting began with his enrollment at the Fay Compton Studio of Dramatic Art in London. His talent quickly became evident, and he made his professional stage debut in 1934 in the play, Libel. Over the next few years, he honed his craft on the stage, working with various theater companies and gaining valuable experience. In 1936, Guinness joined the prestigious Old Vic Theater Company, where he performed in a wide range of classical plays. His ability to bring depth and nuance to a variety of roles quickly set him apart from his peers. His performances in productions such as Hamlet, Twelfth Night, and The Tempest earned him critical acclaim and established him as a rising star in the British theater scene, World War II and military service. With the outbreak of World War II, Alec Guinness's acting career was temporarily put on hold. He enlisted in the Royal Navy Volunteer Reserve in 1941 and served with distinction throughout the war. Despite the challenges of military life, Guinness continued to pursue his passion for acting, participating in naval theater productions that entertained troops and boosted morale, transitioned to film. After the war, Alec Guinness returned to the stage, but it wasn't long before his talent caught the attention of the film industry. His transition to the silver screen began with a role in David Lean's Great Expectations, 1946, where he played Herbert Pocket. This marked the beginning of a long and fruitful collaboration with Lean, one of the most celebrated directors of the time, in 1949, Guinness delivered a standout performance in Kind Hearts and Coronets, a dark comedy in which he played eight different characters. This remarkable feat showcased his versatility and cemented his reputation as a gifted character actor. His ability to transform into completely different personas with ease became one of his trademarks, Rise to Stardom, the 1950s saw Alec Guinness rise to international stardom. One of his most iconic roles came in 1957 with the release of The Bridge on the River Kwai. Directed by David Lean, the film tells the story of British prisoners of war forced to build a bridge for their Japanese captors. Guinness's portrayal of Colonel Nicholson, a principled yet stubborn officer, earned him widespread acclaim and won him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Guinness's collaboration with Lean continued with other memorable films, including Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, where he played Prince Faisal, and Dr. Zhivago, 1965, in which he portrayed Yevgraf Zhivago. These roles further demonstrated his ability to bring depth and authenticity to complex characters, Obi-Wan Kenobi and pop culture icon. In 1977, Alec Guinness took on a role that would introduce him to a new generation of fans and make him a pop culture icon. He was cast as Obi-Wan Kenobi in George Lucas's groundbreaking film, Star Wars. Despite initial skepticism about the science fiction genre, Guinness brought gravitas and wisdom to the role of the Jedi Master, creating one of the most beloved characters in cinematic history. The success of Star Wars introduced Guinness to a global audience and solidified his place in pop culture. He reprised the role in The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983, further cementing his legacy as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Despite his ambivalence towards the overwhelming fame that came with the role, Guinness's portrayal remains one of the most enduring aspects of the Star Wars saga, later career and honors. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Alec Guinness continued to work in film, television, and theater, delivering performances that showcased his range and skill. Notable films from this period include Little Dorrit, 1987, and A Handful of Dust, 1988. He also appeared in acclaimed television productions such as Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, 1979, and its sequel, Smiley's People, 1982, in which he played the enigmatic spy George Smiley. In recognition of his contributions to the arts, Alec Guinness was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in 1959, becoming Sir Alec Guinness. He received numerous awards and honors throughout his career, 
including a BAFTA fellowship and the Kennedy Center Honors. His impact on the world of acting was profound, and he was widely regarded as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Personal life and legacy, Alec Guinness was known for his humility and dedication to his craft. He married Marilla Solomon in 1938, and the couple had one son, Matthew. Despite his fame, Guinness maintained a relatively private personal life, often retreating to his home in Hampshire, England, to enjoy a quieter existence away from the spotlight. Sir Alec Guinness passed away on August 5, 2000, at the age of 86. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on through his extensive body of work. His performances continue to inspire and captivate audiences, and his contributions to film and theater are celebrated by actors and fans alike, influence and mentorship, Alec Guinness's influence extended beyond his performances. He was known for his mentorship and encouragement of younger actors. His generosity and willingness to share his insights made a significant impact on many aspiring actors who looked up to him. He was particularly known for his humility and often downplayed his achievements, focusing instead on the collaborative nature of acting. One of his protégés was Anthony Hopkins, who frequently spoke about Guinness's impact on his career. Hopkins admired Guinness not only for his talent but also for his work ethic and approach to acting. This mentorship is a testament to Guinness's character and his dedication to nurturing the next generation of actors, contributions to theater, while Alec Guinness is perhaps best known for his film roles, his contributions to theater were equally significant. Throughout his career, he returned to the stage multiple times, delivering powerful performances that captivated audiences. His work with the Old Vic Theater in London, particularly his interpretations of Shakespearean roles, was highly acclaimed. In 1981, Guinness starred in the one-man show, A Walk in the Woods, where he played George Smiley, the character he had portrayed in the television adaptations of John Le Carre's novels. This stage performance was another example of his versatility and ability to engage an audience single-handedly. Writing an autobiography, Alec Guinness was also a talented writer. He published several autobiographies and memoirs, offering insights into his life and career. His first autobiography, Blessings in Disguise, was published in 1985 and received widespread praise for its wit, honesty, and eloquence. It provided a candid look at his experiences in the entertainment industry and his personal reflections on his journey. Guinness's writing further showcased his intellectual depth and his ability to articulate the complexities of his life and career. His books remain valuable resources for those interested in understanding the man behind the many iconic roles, final years, and reflections. In his later years, Alec Guinness continued to reflect on his life and career with a sense of contentment and gratitude. Despite his remarkable success, he remained humble and often expressed surprise at the adulation he received. He enjoyed a quieter life, focusing on his family and personal interests, including his deep faith as a devout Roman Catholic, his reflections on his career were marked by a sense of fulfillment and a recognition of the impact he had made. He often spoke of his gratitude for the opportunities he had been given and the people he had worked with, highlighting his collaborative spirit and appreciation for the art of acting, remembering Sir Alec Guinness, as we remember Sir Alec Guinness. We celebrate a man whose contributions to the arts have left an indelible mark. His ability to transform into diverse characters with such authenticity and depth made him a beloved figure in the entertainment world. From his early days in theater to his iconic roles in film and television, Guinness's career is a testament to his extraordinary talent and dedication. His influence continues to be felt, not only through his performances but also through the many actors he inspired and mentored. Alec Guinness's legacy is one of excellence, humility, and a deep commitment to the craft of acting. His work will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come, ensuring that the legacy of Sir Alec Guinness endures, Conclusion, in conclusion, the life and career of Sir Alec Guinness are a testament to his remarkable talent, versatility, and dedication to the art of acting. From his early beginnings in London to his iconic roles on stage and screen, Guinness's journey was marked by extraordinary achievements and a profound impact on the world of entertainment. As we celebrate his life, we honor a man whose performances brought joy, wisdom, and humanity to audiences around the world. His legacy continues to resonate, reminding us of the enduring power of storytelling and the profound influence of a truly great actor. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the life and legacy of Sir Alec Guinness, a true legend whose contributions to the arts will never be forgotten.